Developing now, the issue of street racing is actually getting worse across Central Florida. Street racing is being investigated as a possible cause of a 15 car pileup. It happened on State Road 417 over the weekend. It is also being blamed for a deadly hit and run crash in Orange County that happened right along Colonial Drive last week. And joining us right now to talk more about it is our good friend Lieutenant Kim Montez with the Florida Highway Patrol. Always good to see you, Lieutenant. How are you? Good morning. So, Kim, now we're hearing overnight there were four street racing uh, related crashes. It, it just it almost seems like now it's become sort of an epidemic. I think it's been an epidemic ever really since we went into the pandemic. Uh, we saw our streets be flooded with both spontaneous races and large groups of people gathering to then move about the county uh, to partake in street races on our public roads. So it's been a problem for about two years. We've seen it off and on for a dozen years, but it really has picked up in the last two years. And lately, um, it's it's really just out of control. We've seen so many innocent people lose their lives. Uh, thankful that that did not happen on State Road 417 over the weekend. But have you ever seen one that has caused a pileup like that? 15 cars? So that crash uh, that happened last Saturday night, we're actually still uh, investigating that. We have uh, gotten some surveillance video. The trooper is currently reviewing that video to see if um, that shows the two cars that caused this whole 15 car mess uh, was involved in street racing or some type of road rage. But we are, uh, the Florida Highway Patrol is currently investigating four separate crashes in Orange County where we suspect street racing was the causation of the crash, and those are fatal crashes. Wow. I want to talk about how to fix the problem, right? We've seen the Osceola County Sheriff come out and say, look, we're going to try this. We're going to have, you know, if these kids want to do this, we're going to open up this racing facility and they can actually do it in a legal way there. It seems like the, the kids who are doing this, and some of them are not kids, some of them are adults, get more joy out of, out of doing something that actually breaks the law. You know, about 10 years ago, there was a group of women, mothers against racing, who lost their children in racing that actually tried to get a racing facility opened that didn't stay open long because you're right they they want to go to the roadway they want to run from police they want to engage uh, where it's more dangerous and more exciting so you know we want to try everything but we've seen in the past that um, they always return back to the street and our troopers every night um, they basically go from group to group and we know where they're all gathering up we follow their social media and we are basically scattering them and preventing them from racing. And, and we literally spend all night, four troopers spend all night doing that and just moving them from place to place. So I really don't know what the answer is. We need our state attorney to make sure that they um, punish these people when these cases are brought to the court system and don't let them plead out. Uh, we need the punishment there and we need the um, retribution so that they will be deterred from completing another street race. Kim, I know there is some legislation or a new bill anyway that would, would increase the penalty. Do you think that will help? You know, the penalties are pretty severe right now. Um, troopers, when we catch somebody street racing and we make an arrest, we're now impounding their vehicle for 30 days at a tow company. That's a pretty hefty bill. We're trying to hit them in the pocketbook so that that'll deter them from partaking in this activity again. But we need our court systems to follow up and punish these people, um, whether it's their first time or whether they cause a fatal crash. And then maybe if we have the punishment severe enough, it will deter others. Um, so I think there, there's already systems in place. We just need those to be followed through. Yeah, enforcement is key. Uh, always great to talk to you. Thanks for all you do. Lieutenant Kim Montez from the Florida Highway Patrol. Take care and stay safe out there. Thank you.